I believe in doing the right things, that is my character and personality. The day I quit, I want people to be sad about it. If I do something, I do it with the idea to get to the top, without that, I would stop living. Not looking for excuses is the right thing to do. I have made a lot of mistakes, and I still make mistakes. But I am not ashamed to look for the reasons behind those mistakes. In football, you win as a group, you lose as a group. You divide the credit and the blame. I have not lost an awful lot in my life, but the defeats have taught me more than the victories. I can no longer understand what the parameters are for valuing a player, it's all too random and in the hands of whoever has more money. Whenever I lose, I focus on the ability of my opponent and on the mistakes I made. The important thing is to be ready when the team needs me, as long as I can do that, I consider myself satisfied and happy. Even if I were offered twice my salary elsewhere. I would stay at Juventus, doing so would make me proud, as it is a worthy thing to do. It is fine to admit being nervous, after the event, but if you tell people you're uptight before the game, it can be like, that guy's got problems, we can't trust him. When you have the chance to play a Champions League final, you have to win it. I really hate strikers. I don't give advice, because I always made my own mistakes and would only be adding further chaos to the situation. Even though the Premier League is a special league, I have always wanted to stay loyal to Juventus. Messi is an alien that dedicates himself to playing with humans. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I think that's normal for someone who wants to grow and develop. You will have to overcome plenty of obstacles, and it is normal that you should stumble sometimes. I do not need to hear how I am judged by others, I know by myself if I can be satisfied or not with my work. Whenever I lose, I focus on the ability of my opponent and on the mistakes I made. People don't mind you feeling low if you are still performing, but if you've shared too much, and suddenly your performance dips, that's when they start doubting you. Don't be a keeper. How do I imagine my last ever game, maybe I'll go out like Zidane, headbutting someone on the pitch. I do not take to the field to defend myself from certain criticisms, if I do, in this kind of career, it is because I'm very self-critical. In this job, you accept criticism and give answers on the field.
I took what I've been given, and I got where I did on the basis of something that is often undervalued, merit. I have a wealth of experience, but I do not want to coach, I rather like the role of recruiter. The pitch is the most beautiful part of the game. It gives you emotions which bring meaning to life. Everyone gets scared from time to time, it's totally normal, and anyone who says otherwise is a liar. Every kid thinks about scoring rather than not conceding. I don't want to disrespect anyone, but it's clear that any team which has the chance to play with Messi, Suarez, and Mer has devastating attacking power, which any coach would love at his disposal. No record belongs to just one person, and there are no number ones outside of a group. When you go somewhere, and think it will be your last time there, you always appreciate the beauty of it even more, and want to crystallize emotions that you will keep with you forever.